Hi, Prosperity Team. It's Dr. Money coming to you from the prosperity corner of the universe where silliness is sacred and nobody's perfect. I am your P.O.P., your Professor of Prosperity, and I'm here so that all of our lives can pop with prosperity. I want to talk about looking at prosperity through the eyes of a child. My, little, my grandson, who is six, and I watched the last part of a movie he was watching, and it was about a gorilla, Ivan the Gorilla, who evidently was returned to, he after 27 years um, of not being outside, he was um, captured or rescued, and he went to the Atlanta Zoo, and afterwards, he wanted to draw pictures of gorillas, so <laughs> I pulled up my How to Draw a Gorilla on my phone, and I show him this picture, and it's got the lines, and I'm thinking about really drawing a perfect gorilla. And he looks at it because it's just black and white, and he says, Oh no, Grandma Ma. He says, That'll never do. He said, That's just bore. It's plain. He says, We want a, a real gorilla, one that's got colors on it. So I dr picked up some other colors of gorillas, and I also turned on YouTube and I found a s scene of gorillas playing and so forth. And so he draws this picture of a gorilla. And it's this little stick figure and, uh, you know, and it's, it's got the sky and it's got different things on it. And he looks at it and he says, look at this, Grandma Ma. I bet you never thought that I could do it so good. And he was so proud of it and he was so happy. Then he looks at the other videos for a few minutes and he draws two more pictures. That, I mean, these are eight by tens and it, with the sky and with the gorillas in it. And then he has gorillas on their back because he's been watching the gorillas run around in this YouTube. And then he looks at the first one and he says, Grandmama, this will never do. He said, the gorillas are not that long and skinny. So he throws that one away. But this is the one that he just loved a few minutes ago. And when he loved it, he was fully there and appreciative of it. And then when he gave it away, it was kind of like, then he loved the other ones. He said, oh, these are much better. I like, you know, I like these. And I laughed because my first thought was perfectionism. I'm going to try find a picture of a gorilla and I'm going to try to really draw what a gorilla was like. He just was full of excitement about drawing the gorilla and really not that concerned about how it looked. To him, it looked real and right. And I suggest that when we look at our prosperity, if we can look at our lives through the eyes of children, then what we will, will happen is that we will not demand as much from life and ourselves. When I say demand, there's something different than expecting a miraculous and wonderful life rather than demanding this perfectionism and demanding more. So if we can look at life through the eyes of a child, then our life will be easier and more abundant. I promise you that that is so. Let's take a deep breath. And as we breathe in, we breathe in our willingness to receive our good. And as we exhale, <sighs> as we exhale, we exhale our intention that all other beings receive their good as well. This is Dr. Money, and I want you to remember one more thing for sure, and that is that I love you.